Hi everyone, I'm Sean for Hey Singapore. So as the green city, Singapore has a lot of wonderful trees. So in this video, we're going to see eight of the most amazing trees in Singapore. And they're all here at a World Heritage Site, the Singapore Botanic Gardens. So it all started in, back in 1877 with the first rubber trees. The first seeds were planted here from Kew Gardens in London. Originally the trees are from Brazil and they still have Brazil in the name. So here you can see a couple of uh, newly planted rubber trees. And of course, these rubber trees, we wouldn't have things like tires or rubber bands. One of the most famous trees in Singapore is this one, the Tembusu. And uh, it's, it's about as old as the park itself, maybe over uh, 150, maybe 170 years old. And if you recognize it, it's on the back of the $5 note. This is the Senegal mahogany, which is native to Africa. It's also known as Mr. Lee's tree, named after Lee Kuan Yew, former leader and founder of modern Singapore, who attended the tree planting day back in 1980 when this tree was planted. It's grown a lot since then. Our next tree is very close. In fact, it's just over there. Now most trees grow from the ground up. This one, the Burmese banyan, did not. It grew from the top down. It's actually a type of strangler fig which sent its roots down from the forest canopy down to the forest floor and gradually encompassed the host tree that it surrounded. And now, this is what's left. So this next tree over here is very interesting because of its very unique fruit. It's known as the African sausage tree. And you can see why it kind of looks a bit like a sausage. The tree was regarded as sacred in Africa. And people believe that if there's somebody was missing and believed dead, they would bury the seed in tribute to that person. Hence his name, the African sausage tree. Well, if you've ever had a Peranakan dish called Bois Kelowak, this is the Kelowak. It's a tree that's native mainly to Indonesia, uh, famous for its nuts that's used in that dish. Um, the actual nut is poisonous. It's got uh, hydrogen cyanide, so it has to be boiled and fermented before it can be eaten. Hence, the dangerous Kelowak. So our next tree is very close. It's just over there, the monkey pot tree. So the monkey pot tree is named after its fruit, which looks a lot like a pot. And it's native to South America. So the monkeys in the forest there uh, have been seen kind of reaching in to get the delicious seeds inside the fruit. Standing almost 50 meters tall, this is one of the tallest trees in the whole of the Botanic Gardens. This is the Jellowai tree. Back in the 1980s, it was struck by lightning and uh, miraculously survived and it's still standing today. Ever wonder where the name Coca-Cola comes from? It's from two of the original ingredients. Coca from the leaves of the coca plant from South America. So what's cola? This is cola. The nuts from the tree are caffeinated and were used for the flavoring of the original Coca-Cola. So the cola tree is uh, native to Western Africa and this one was dedicated to Nelson Mandela on his visit to Singapore in 1997. So that brings us to the end of our quick tour of eight of the most amazing trees in the Botanic Gardens. There are of course many other things to see here including the National Orchid Garden which is just next to the cola tree. So I hope you enjoyed watching and see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a like down below and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.